Hi there guys, in this video we're going to open up a crate of 7.92 by 57 millimeter ammunition, better known as 8 millimeter Mauser. A friend of the channel kindly uh, let me have this crate of ammunition which he purchased at an auction so that we can open it up and see what's inside. When it's all done, it's all going back to him. Anyway, let's have some uh, closer looks at the markings on the box. Here is a slightly better view of the markings on the box. 1,040 rounds, 7.92 millimeters, 20 rounds a box, weight 33 kilograms. There are no other markings on the box other than the duplication of this mark on the reverse side of the box by the other handle. The box is very much in a British style, similar to what you would find 303 British packed in. Just a simple wooden crate with some rope handles on it. So here's a little different uh, perspective on the ammo box. It is very much the British style of crate and we have a bracket, a metal bracket on this end and a metal bracket on this end. This one is fixed, this one is hinged and originally the case would have had a like a nail through that and this seal. So the seal has been broken on this to open up the box however the internal metal can is still intact so this just slides down from the side and you can pull the top off like that. So pretty basic construction. We've got you know a couple of pieces of board with some fasteners, a strap and some nails to hold the whole thing together. And inside we have a metal tin and this is still sealed. We'll get the tin out of the way here or out onto the uh, countertop. We'll have a little better look at it. All right, here's the basic metal tin out of the uh, wooden box. And it is quite heavy. One thing I've seen on this which is a little bit uh, unsettling is the fact that there's actually a rust hole in the tin right there. Rusted right through. And in fact, if I squeeze on the can, some brown dust comes out of the can. So that's probably not a good sign. Um, I know that the uh, owner of this ammo paid quite a bit of money for it, so I'm hoping that the contents are actually in reasonable shape, but we shall see. Yeah. Anyway, no markings really on the can itself. And the top appears to have been just soldered on there. And we've got a handle, so. Let's try to open this up without knocking the camera over. Could be easier said than done. It's always tricky trying to work around a camera tripod. All right. There we go. All right, we'll have a closer look at what's inside here. We have some cardboard, probably meant to protect this stuff when the top of the can was soldered. It is rather rust covered, which is not a good sign. There's a bunch of this cardboard. And more cardboard. And yet more cardboard and some very dusty looking packets of ammo down here and some deteriorating looking labels I don't know if we can read those or not we'll have a closer look at those a little later oh my this is very very dusty stuff. In fact, the boxes, I think, are pretty much falling apart. I'm not sure if we can get a box out of here without breaking it apart. They seem to be in kind of poor shape. Yeah, everything's sort of deteriorated here. Let's back the camera out a bit further. And have a 
look at that. Yeah, it's kind of in poor condition. Let's set that down and see if I can get another box out. It might be a little bit more intact. Yeah, the boxes seem to be all broken up inside here. One's not much better. Nope. Yeah, they are all broken apart and deteriorated. Well, I can't win them all, I guess. Um, seems to be just more of the same. So I figured I'd take the camera off the tripod and show you what it looks like inside here. There is dust and rust and everything on inside here. Yeah. The boxes have pretty much fallen apart. The labels are falling apart as well. Anyway, it's uh, not looking great, but anyway, we'll take this off the table here and we'll have a look at uh, an individual packet a little closer. Well, I spent the last uh, little while going through the box or the crate trying to pull a box of ammo out that would come out in one piece, but they just, the boxes just uh, disintegrate when picked up. Here's about the best one I could find as far as not completely falling apart when it was taken out of the box. There is a label on there, but they're just, uh, they're just completely deteriorated, these boxes. So here's what the ammo looks like that's inside them. And as you can see, a lot of uh, a lot of corrosion in here. So there's what the rounds look like. The bullets themselves seem to have uh, survived a little better than the cartridge cases. And these appear to be brass cartridge cases. And there is the head stamp. And it looks to me like it is in Hebrew. So I'm not sure if this ammo was produced for Israel or if it was produced in Israel itself, but it sure looks like it's got Hebrew markings on the head stamp there. And we're going to grab a couple of fragments of the uh, box labels and we'll see if we can find one that's a little more readable. They're quite badly deteriorated as well. You can see they're just like tissue paper, they're very delicate. And it looks like lot 262 11 slash 55, so one would only assume that that's 1955. It's really hard to read the lettering on these because they're so covered with rust and corrosion dust that they're uh, almost impossible to read. There's another one. It looks like the letter or the number 20 in the corner there. And perhaps 792 on the other side. But I think these are in Hebrew, so if you know better, you can tell me in the comments down below. So, like I said, I haven't unfortunately been able to find a box in there so far, and I'm halfway down in it that has remained intact and is not completely covered with dust and rust. So, kind of unfortunate in that regard. So as for the ammo itself, it's uh, probably not as bad as the boxes would suggest. The bullets are still shiny. The cartridge cases are a bit dull. They have a little bit of oxidization on them. Some are worse than others. But uh, we'll have to pull some of this apart in a future video to see what exactly is inside it, what kind of powder, what bullet weight, etc. And to see what kind of condition it's in, whether the powder appears to be still good or not. So I guess we'll leave, uh, leave it at that for this video. Thanks for watching. It's uh, unfortunate that this is not in better shape than, uh, than it is, but it is uh, you know, 1955 production, so you're looking at some fairly old ammo at this point in time. Anyway, as usual, your uh, comments and ratings are always appreciated. And thanks again to the owner of this uh, ammunition for letting us see the unboxing. Have a good one.